It's no secret that I absolutely love a giant redwood and there is something just about the sheer size and volume of these trees that just invites your sense of curiosity as to what's up there. And with the evolution of canopy science, we're learning more and more about what actually lives in the canopy. You know, there's mosses, ferns, lichens, mammals, insects, bats, there's so much and so much that we don't yet know. So I actually just want to go and have a little look. The giant redwoods are actually native to Sierra Nevada in California. So the growing conditions are a little bit different there. You've got altitude, you've got very cold winters, lots of snow, hot summers, periodic fire. Um, and yet in the UK, you can see they've actually done very well. They were brought over in 1853 by a Scottish grain merchant and the Victorians quickly cottoned onto that and they thought you know a sherry in a large tree would be rather nice for supper and uh, planted a whole load of giant redwoods and here they are doing their thing. This one's probably about 150 years old and it's massive and this is another thing that nobody really knows much about. In California there's lots of fire so the heat from the fire allows the cones to open and the seeds to disperse but we don't have a lot of fire in the UK. Can these trees self-propagate or are all the trees we have in the UK are they have they just been planted and if anyone knows please let me know. these really sweet little baby male pollen cones here and next to them we've got the, the female cones so the brown ones are they're sort of drying and um, look like they're starting to open but whether that is an effective way for the seeds to disperse I really don't know so please anyone that knows these things uh, let me know it'd be amazing to hear from you but you can see just this amazing like carpet of moss um, and lichens. I wish I knew what, what species they were.